year ago, students at Davies High School lost fellow classmate Srijin Lala to a car crash. While Lala was in high school, he traveled halfway across the globe to help kids struggling with cancer and other issues. Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker shows us how friends and family are keeping Lala's memory and passion for humanitarian work alive. We just feel like it's really important to keep his legacy alive. Former classmate Maria Sledi says Srijan Lala was a beloved student at Davies High, a teen who had a way of bringing all walks of life together. After searching for a way to honor Srijan, who gave so much of himself to others, his family decided to start a North Dakota chapter of Distressed Children and Infants International, a nonprofit that helps lift families in developing countries out of poverty through education, health care, and jobs. We're really excited to be starting this chapter here in North Dakota. We're really hoping to do some good in the world in Srijan's honor. Srijan's classmates knew him for his humanitarian work, which is why most of them, now college freshmen, came back for this special event. He did a lot to help other people. He spent um, hours in Bangladesh um, helping child leukemia patients and doing research, as well as a lot of hours when he came home. And this outpouring of support means a lot to Srijan's family. We are very touched seeing, seeing the presence of everyone, especially all his classmates who have come here. And the fact that so many people have turned up here today is also a testament to the fact that what he meant to the people here as well as to the community and his friends. We just feel like it's important to find some sort of way to allow his spirit to keep giving and to keep helping even after he's gone. Cornelius Hawker, Valley News Live. Money was raised through the silent auction and dinner to benefit the newly started North Dakota chapter of Distressed Children and Infants International. And you can learn more about the organization by looking for this story on valleynewslive.com.